Everyone's had a great start to their week. It's about to get even better. Monday Night Hoops live from Queenstown Event Centre. That's right, we've gone destination. And it's DJ Gardner Holmes too. He basketball Aotearoa, the Southern Hoi Ho taking on the mainland Hoakai. Kia ora, a very, very good evening to Hugh Bainan here alongside Basketball New Zealand Hall of Famer, Donna Wilkins. Uh, Donna, great to be in Queenstown. You're fresh off the slopes, I see. Just a quick at pre ski and then straight to uh, the event centre for a game. But on a serious note, great for the Hoi Hall to get out and about read out but their, their regions and into central Otago. Oh, look, absolutely. And this is a growing region for basketball. We've been here for many Apples tournaments with the kids. And um, look, they just love their basketball. So it's nice to be able to be here in Queenstown and only an hour 20 from my house. So a nice wee drive along the road, around the lake. You live in God's zone, don't you? Absolutely. And here's the ladder. And I'll tell you who else is in God's zone right now. The Northern Kahu, they are untouchable. 9 and 0, 18 points, top of the ladder and some. Uh, in their wake are the Tokomanoa Queens, the Fai and the Poakai, who uh, went down to the Queens on Sunday in Ototahi. So a little bit of daylight there, a bit of catching up to do. Southern Hoi Ho, about a week and a bit removed from their first win of the season. We'll be looking to make that number two. And just put enough pressure on the Poakai to make them worried about the final four, which is about three or four weeks away. Games to come in this round from Te Ropraha Arena in Porirua on Wednesday night. The Queen's taking on this Hoi Ho side. We've got a busy week. The Kahu up in Tamaki Makoto take on the Queen's on Saturday, 5 p.m. and then on Sunday, 12.30. The first of a double header along with the Otago Nuggets and the Franklin Bulls. The Hoi Ho, well, it's a reverse fixture of this one. The Hoi Ho take on the Poakai from the Edgar Centre on what we hope will be a Dana Stunner. But we'll see this time of year. I'm not holding out much hope. There's Jalen Cherry, who will start tonight for the Poakai, just her second appearance, and still yet to have a real full training session under her belt. The LSU product, she'll be in the backcourt with tall firm Mary Goulding, Erin Whalen and Trinity Baptiste, two of the stars of the comp so far on the wing, and Tessa Bo acting the tall firm centre at the five spot. Let's hear from their head coach, Tully Bevilacqua. So Tully, you've just come off another game on Saturday and having to back it up tonight, Monday night here in Queenstown. Have you had much time in between to look at your game? Well, I've learned that a coach never sleeps, so um, I've had a few hours of looking at film. You know, we've come in off a disappointing loss, um, and it wasn't the fact we lost, it was how we lost. We didn't come out with, uh, with energy, uh, we were out-hustled on our home floor, so that was disappointing. We need to turn that around tonight, but we've prepared enough for, for this game against Hoi Ho. And the end of the season, you've got a run of four games and they're all away from home. How does that affect going into finals? Look, it is what it is. All teams have to endure away games. We just happen to have them all at the end here. So we just have to focus. Um, you know, stick to the plan of what we want to do out there on the floor, have good warm-ups, have good shoot-arounds, uh, get rest and do all the things that you know you can control to be ready for the game. Awesome. Good luck tonight, Tally. Thanks, Maddie. For the Southern Hoi Ho. We can have a look at their starting five. Tori Dugan, their diminutive point guard. We'll start in the backcourt with Samara Gallagher, the captain. Lane the Snyder, an absolute stud so far in Terry He on the wing. Zoe Richards, Tulfern in the four spot. And Shelby Cheslick, there she is. All six five of her will start in the five. Let's hear from their head coach, Nat Visca. Well, Nat, big game for you guys tonight. A home game in Queenstown for the Hoi Ho. What can we expect from your team tonight? Well, when we were in Auckland, we were really flat after our big win. And so we've just kind of written that off and we're ready to go again. Like, we're just loose and we want to play a good game and, like, put on a bit of a show and just show that we've improved. And I think the girls are really fizzing, which is awesome. Oh, that's good to hear. And I've also had a little look at your schedule. You've got something like three games in seven days. Like, how do you prepare the bodies for this? Yeah, well, we, you just load management. Um, just short and sharp in training, not, like, extra long. And it's a mental battle more than anything. It's just like when you need to rest, you've got to make sure you do that. And I think we all kind of knew what we signed up for. So the girls are tough. They're just so pumped to be able to play in New Zealand. And I think they're all right. And the Paakai tonight, how do you get across the line and get a W against them tonight? 
Yeah, well, they've got a nice lineup with some of, you know, they, they do some nice things inside out. So we're very similar, actually, where we're looking to get the ball inside as well and, like, play through that. So we need to limit their touches inside. We need to control the paint. Really need to get on the boards, and we need to run. So I think who can dictate with that will really probably have the advantage um, in the long run. Hold the base to not. Thanks, Anna. Fans filter in here at the Queenstown Event Center. We can have a look at the head-to-head -head for this battle between the Hoi Hoa and the Poakai. And quite even there, Donna, between the two sides. A few more three-pointers, well, one per game made for the Poakai. But how about those steals? Who's behind those 8.8 .8 steals per game? Yeah, look, Lena Snyder has been pretty awesome for the Hoi Hoa, as hasn't she? And she's actually number one for steals, 2.6 a game, leading that um, leaderboard with those top five. So, yeah, look, she's going to be amazing defensively yet again a full team the hoi Ho. so it's going to be good to see her out on court and see what she can come up with for her team yeah, just a casual 19.6 points 8.6 rebounds four and a bit assists and those uh, nearly three steals for lena snyder so far in 2022 the inaugural season of gj gardner holmes toihi who's going to provide the help i think has been the question for the hoi Ho in the games they've lost uh, it was zoe richards among others in the game they won as we see the referees who shall don the whistles in this one, Melanie O'Connor, Sasha Nicholson, and Taylor Lynch. Exciting times here in Queenstown for the sport of basketball. At the beginning of a journey in the professional leagues, the second game of Toihi, and of course the men's team set to join the Sal's NBL competition in 2024. So some serious work being done to this venue uh, in the next couple of years, including new floors, new hoops, New clocks, new scoreboards, so this place is going to transform over the next couple of years, and that's really exciting. So we see the Poakite get ready to get on the court. You see Maya Jones on the left of her screen with the red hair. She earned herself on the plane on Sunday with her performance, on Saturday, I should say, with her performance uh, in Christchurch and wasn't set to fly to Queenstown, but uh, impressed Tully Bevilacqua on debut that flights were changed, and here she is in Queenstown. And that's just all about taking your opportunities, isn't it? Look, Maya Jones has been away with the New Zealand Under-17 team over at the Worlds, and, you know, just coming back, having that ability to bring what she's learned even from that tournament into this competition, and, yeah, book the ticket to Queenstown. So it's about taking opportunities, and Maya's definitely taken hers. So the Hoi Hawk come out, and pose for a photo with a young fan, which is lovely to see. Sammy Gallagher always has a smile on her face, the Hoi Ho captain. I love it how they never seem to tell those little fans and the people that go on the court what they do after that. And just they always look a wee bit stunned, don't they, in the middle? Just get off. <laughs> it's so cute, though, and it's why a lot of the people come and watch the games, isn't it? Especially this women's league, the Toihi. These young up-and-coming ballers. So this will be a battle to watch today. The two biggest players on court, Shelby Cheslick and Tessa Boagney, and they'll contest the tip. Cheslick gets her hand to it, but Mary Goulding read it beautifully, and it's the Poakai who contests the first possession. Erin Whalen's three ball just rattled around and fell out, and here come the Hoi Hawk. They'll look for Dugan. The real facilitator of their side. Doesn't add too much to the scoreboard. That certainly orchestrates proceedings. Gallagher, three ball from the corner. Baptiste comes down with it. And these two teams will meet again on Sunday. It's the Hoi Ho, especially are in crunch time in this season after that 0-7 start, or 0-6 start, I should say. Well, they both are really, aren't they? The Poakai won't want the Hoi Ho to catch them. With four games remaining for them. Boagney going to work down low. Faked one way, went the other, and kissed it off the glass. So she starts with two points, as do the Poakai. And I think that's important that Tessa Boagney gets going early. Well, she didn't take a shot the entire first half on Saturday as Tori Dugan, just as I make a claim about her not troubling the scoreboard. You might have just set her up for a great game, Hugh. Dr drills a three to get things started. I'm not sure what referee Sasha Nicholson just stopped in and had a quick chat with Jalen Cherry about. I think they were back underway. Cherry calls for the screen. A real pick and roll player, we're told by Tully Bevilacqua. Oh, lost possession day. there. Gallagher comes away with it, but the Poakai do well to get back. Dugan 
into Cheslet, pulls that from the elbow. And she gave herself a bit of a fright that she was all alone at the elbow. Rushed her shot a little bit. Back inside to Bo 18 they go. This time Zoe Richards on her. And she does admirably. Schneider comes down with the rebound. Gallagher, and a Richards screen. Great defense from Cherry. Yeah, Second got a piece block. Of that. So he, she had a big one on Saturday afternoon, too. Baptiste wants it. And that's who they find. We might see one of her patented fadeaways. And nope, she throws it back out to Cherry with eight on the shot clock. Round the Bo Agni screen. Oh, great ball. Fires it into Bo Agni. Floater doesn't go. She'll get a second chance and she makes the most of it. And that's what you want to do. You want to follow your shot. Gets the put back. But what a ball. Nice feed underneath. Absolute bullet pass. Chestnut down low. Looking to return the favour on Bo Agni. Fires it out to Snyder. Step back around the free throw line, hard off the back iron. Well, that pass. Just a little bit behind Waylon, couldn't get that one. Fielded well by Coach Visca. So Richards sporting a shiner after a bit of head to head combat with Elena Snyder in practice. You always get your the best battle scars, wounds from training. And that might have come last off Trinity Baptiste. It did, so it will remain hoi ho possession. As Rusk chats into the game for Sammy Gallagher. Snyder on Baptiste will be a battle worth keeping an eye on. Here's Snyder fires it over. Big skip pass. Dugan catch and shoot. Looking to bank it in, doesn't drop. Wayland comes down with a rebound. We're going to go coast to coast as Erin Wayland. No, she's not. Finds Baptiste in the mid range. Rebounded by Snyder. And just shooting a wee bit short on these rims, both teams. A look for Cheslet. Holds it high above her head over to Dugan. Dugan looking to clear a few players out. They go. To Cheslick. She makes in. that one. Oh, Snyder and Goulding fall over each other accidentally. And the Moffat comes out to do her work. Promising start for the Hoy Hawk. And they lead by just one, though. It's very Goulding really gets her hands on the ball for the first time in this one. Layup doesn't go. Good help from Cheslick, who just affects every shot with her height when she comes over to help. Yeah, the Hoi Hoi, great defensive pressure at the moment on the park. I just take them a wee bit out of their shot, out of their finish. From McKestrup into the game for the first time. Zoe Richards takes the seat. Here comes Cherry with Dugan, causing her a bit of trouble. Boagney jostling for position. The screen comes from the bench, hit it to her instead. Step back three ball. Off the front iron, Snyder with the board. And Chad and Cherry, I think, about to get the hook for not throwing it into the post as Lauren Hippolyte gets ready to step into the game. Moved out of the starting lineup for Cherry for tonight's game as Snyder shrugs off Whalen, but her three ball doesn't drop. Yes, yeah, Snyder's just been a little bit short. Goulding dishes oh, off, finds Trinity Baptiste. Great pass fate, got Shelby Cheslick out the way. Cheslick wants it in the low block. Dugan goes to Snyder. Averaging a tick under 20 points. Here's Rusk. Oh, good defense. He's putting that pressure, the shot clock's counting down. Dugan has to shoot it. Close out from Bo Agni was good. And a good defensive set from the Polakai. Oh, Mary Golding has hit the deck and she She's is in some good. sort of pain. As the shot goes up from Aaron and goes in. Three what ball a time goes to in. Make it. There's a whistle. We didn't see what happened. I'm not sure. She might have just She's gone over. She's in a lot of pain. Uh, 
Yeah, she's not that too happy. We might move off Mary there. And she will be seen to, I'm sure, by medical staff. So a time now for the teams to regroup. It's never pretty seeing your teammate go down. So the hoi ho. A bit, uh, promising start, but they've just let a little bit of daylight come into this game, Donna. As the Poakai got a few things going, especially on the defensive end. I think both teams' defence has been pretty strong. Like, you know, Wayland's just hit down a three, which has stretched that lead out for the Poakai. But, you know, defensive pressure, the teams are having to make tough shots. It might look like an ankle for Mary Goulding as she's just helped off the side of the court by medical staff. With Maya Jones, who's come onto the game alongside fellow Nelsonian Lauren Heppelite. And we're back underway as we wish Mary Goulding the best as she gets her injury seen to. Schneider trying to find a bit of space. Baptiste did brilliantly. Zoe Richards scampers beyond oh, the three-point line, drains it from the corner. And that's what we want to see from Richards. We want her to score. Whalen over to Baptiste. Here's Hippolyte. Diagne trying to get position down low. Maya Jones hands on the ball for the first time tonight after her impressive debut on Sunday. The pass, though, tipped by Kestrup. And just the long arms getting in the way. Richards almost in the same position. This one high up the up. And out of bounds it goes. Comes off the stanchion that holding the backboard. So Taylor Lynch rightly calls it out of bounds. So 9-8, 3.37, it's going to be Maya Jones who brings the ball up for the Poakai. Rusk putting her under duress. Hippolyte shrugs away. The one they call Pop, Olivia O'Neill. The Hoi Ho doing a good job here, just pushing the Poakai out of the offense. And Whalen is fouled by Kestrup. Yeah, and that will not be hope, happy with that call. Just five seconds on the shot clock, giving away a foul. The veteran yep. move by Aaron Whalen, who felt just enough contact to uh, sell that to the refs, and rightly so. Gains some an extra 14 now on the shot clock. It's getting pushed out of their offense. Oh. Baptiste down low is Whalen, foul on the floor oh. first though. It might be on Bronwyn Kesha, but there might be two quick fouls on the doctor, it is. It's a fine line, isn't it? If it wasn't called, it was probably an easy two. Uh, get position on the baseline. So the pole card go again. Shot clock reset to 14. Baptiste. Whalen turns the corner, but runs straight into Cheslek. She affects every shot. Three ball up from Maya Jones, off to the right. And out of bounds it goes, or a foul, potentially. Out of bounds it is. Rusk calls the play. Cheslet, the cutting O'Neill, gets it up just and in time. It's fouled and one for Olivia O'Neill. Yeah, great drive, good move. As we see here in the replay, just the backdoor cart finishes with one to come for O'Neill. So Tessa Morrison into the game for Mike Jones as Tessa Boagney comes out also. And a welcome return for Tubasa Nisbet, who missed the last game with an injury. She's been one of Tully Bevilacqua's favourites to bring off the bench. Well, she's been solid, hasn't she, and improving with every opportunity out on court. Real hustle, hustle and effort player. Comes down with rebounds when really she has no right to. Six on the shot clock. Baptiste, stutter step. Mid-ranger doesn't go. Yeah. So it's the Poakai's turn to deal with the lid on the hoop. Yeah, I was just about to say, Trinity Baptiste quite quiet in this opening quarter for the Poakai. They'll need her to get going. Rich is trying to find Olivia O'Neill, but Lauren Hippolyte doing a great job of denying her the ball. She gets it eventually. Here's Cheslick. Fires it over. Rusk in the corner. High arcing three. Doesn't drop. And Whalen bats it over to Hippolyte. As Morrison runs the lanes. They look for Baptiste. 
and instantly double teamed. Yeah. She is becoming accustomed to being. So the hands go around, and Waylon Strebel hits the back iron. Yeah, when you're number one on the stats for leading scorer, you're going to attract a little bit more attention. Richards, Nisbet's camp is out to prevent the three ball going up. Three on the shot clock. Richards has to put it up. Gets it Does off so just from in time, but doesn't hit anything. Rusk is all over Tessa Morrison. Just gets it to Baptiste, gets it straight back, but just couldn't bring it in. And Mahoy will come away with it. 11-9, minute 20 to go in this first quarter. Just starting to see a few turnovers creeping into both teams' game at the moment. Richards takes the contact from Baptiste, and it's deemed illegal. So a foul called. And the Hoy Hawk will inbound from the baseline. And his captain and star return to the court, Sammy Gallagher and Lena Snyder. So Mary Goulding is still being seen to, I think. I think it may even be a knee, which is... We didn't yeah. see any contact over there, so it could well be a non-contact injury, which is... Normally an ACL, is isn't worrying. it? But, well, I don't think we'll see it for the rest of this game. It's Nat Visca. Side have a two-point lead with a minute to go in this first quarter. And the Pohakai down, one of their tall ferns. Here's Cheslet, hands it off to a cutting Kestrup. Gallagher in the corner in front of the Pohakai bench. High off the back irons, the three ball. Oh, great hustle. Goes and gets the ball, hands it off to Cheslick, who just can't get it to go. She might get another go at it. Snyder. Jumper goes from the mid range and a timeout here. And that's just that want, isn't it, to get those offensive boards. Coach Bevilacqua with the timeout. Yeah, There's not happy with that defensive boxing out. The trail 13 9, 44 seconds to go in the first quarter. Talk, shall we, briefly about the Northern Kahu and just how well they've gone. Uh, big win over the Fi 88-64 the other night. Yes, no Tiana Clark at the moment for the Fi and, and yet to replace Dominique McBride, who's injured the uh, import. But, geez, that, those guards, or one, two, and three for the Kahu, Crystal Ledger-Walker, Michaela Cox, Talia Tupaya, they are tough. Oh, look, they're extremely tough. And, you know, they're not worried if they're not getting the numbers either. Somebody else is backing them up. And, look, they're just cruising through at the moment, aren't they? They're playing a fantastic brand of basketball, and it's so awesome to watch. Tully Bevilacqua taking every second she can at this timeout. As referee Taylor Lynch gives her the hurry up. And the trail 13-9, under a minute to go in this first quarter. And a bit of pressure on the inbound from the Hoy Hawk. Pepperlite out there with Morrison, Whalen, Nisbet and Baptiste. O'Neill, Kestrup, Gallagher, Snyder, and Cheslet for the Hoy Hawk. Hippolyte looking for someone finding Aaron Whalen. That tipped, so it will remain Polakai possession. Three seconds on the shot clock, just being reminded to, as they look for Baptiste, she might look to get it up. Cheslet looming though and blocking Shelby Cheslet. A go again, and that's uh, not going to count as the shot clock had gone off. So great defense from Shelby Cheslet. They're just really putting the pressure on, aren't they, and pushing the Paiakai out of their offense. They're a long way from the basket. Ball's got to get in and does just in time to Samara Gallagher. Snyder using every second of her allotted five seconds. O'Neill clutches the ball under arm, calls a play. Gallagher, oh, Somehow. almost with a miracle pass that just 
I thought that was going to go to hand, but... Shot clock, I mean, game clock winding down, and that's the end of the quarter. And it's belonged to the Southern Hoi Hawk in their home game here at Queenstown. They lead the Poakai 13-9. An injury to Mary Goulding overshadowing this first quarter, but the show goes on here, and it's the Hoi Hawk with a four-point lead. We'll be back with the second quarter after the break. Come around here, Kat. Oh, well, don't crowd him, Kat. Welcome back to Queenstown Event Centre. Hugh Baden here alongside Donna Wilkins. Quarter time here between the Southern Hoiho and the mainland Poakai. And that's those ladies in blue playing in Central Otago today. Queensland, stunning Queensland. I know the players of the Hoiho went to uh, Wanaka yesterday, spent the night there, but a team bonding. And the Poakai are spending an extra day here, so... Both teams uh, take, making the most of uh, spreading the game around Te Waipanamu, which is great to see. And it's the Hoi Ho who have a lead. As the fans get into the tucker. The barbecue here with some uh, pork sliders I hear going, actually. Rather disappointed no one's Sounds pretty good. No delivered one's delivered. To, uh, We're waiting. Maybe half time, Hugh. And they're ready to go for the second quarter. As the clock just gets sorted out here, we've seen Mary Gordon go down with a, well, a suspected bad knee injury. We saw her leave the arena on a wheelchair, so I send her our best. The Poakai have to get it done now without one of their stars and one of their leaders. And there's their newest player, Jalen Cherry, in her first professional gig out of Louisiana State University. They lost in the second round of the NCAA tournament in her senior year. Yeah, I think she was pretty much straight into training off the plane. She was, so yeah. Oh, I don't think she's had training. She was straight into the Saturday game Saturday off the game. plane. Oh, no, my, my spies in Christchurch tell me that she was at... Well, she didn't train, but she was at training. That Did was we? Cooper oh, Wilkins. Oh, why do you have spies? Oh, your son. <laughs> right, yeah. Training at Stack. And there's Taylor Lynch, the referee, sporting just a lovely moustache. Made his way down for Nelson from this one, one of the young upcoming referees in New Zealand. We're just waiting for the clock to get going. Looks like we're having a full reset of the uh, scoreboard. Luckily, we've got one of the most experienced referees, Melanie O'Connor, on patrol today. And we're going to get underway now. Melanie O'Connor racked up game number 400 in the South NBL. Isn't that amazing? Year. And that's just the men's competition. And now doing the female version, which is great. Gallagher is the Hoy Hill. Let's capitalise on their good first quarter. Tori Dugan started the game with a three ball, turns that one down, goes over the lane about to Snyder. Oh, Bo Agni with a good hand, and Cherry comes away with it.
Baptiste going to work down low. Tessa Boagney puts up a three ball. Rattles around. Oh, triples over. Drops in. She was willing that one to go in. Wide open. Good inside outside play. Which is Just what it. worked at the start for them. Off the back iron. Unforgiving rims here. As Cherry brings it the other way. Yeah, looking to push the ball a bit quicker up the floor. Pull up doesn't drop. Gallagher brings in the board. Dugan looks for a captain and finds it. Great drive from Sammy Gallagher. And she's fouled on her way to the hoop, so she'll shoot two from the Razine foul line. Yeah, just has a good knack of presenting that ball enough to think that you've got a chance to go for it, but draws the foul. Just chance the, uh, for two. Second free throw of the game. Players keeping it clean out there on a Monday night in Queenstown. Frankton to be precise. Perfect. You're learning. Chestnut's going to scamper and bring in that rebound. And that's just not really good enough, is it? You've got to box out. You've got to go after the ball. The Pyakai. Just Two on the shot clock as Chestnut puts one up from the baseline. Cherry with the board. Instantly corralled by Dugan, though. And yeah, they Cherry come away again. Looks to in the back more often than anything else when she takes off with the dribble and come unstuck there. Snyder from mid-range. Again, they'll go again. The hoi with, geez, it feels like a fourth chance opportunity. And it's a killer, isn't it? It's so hard to play defense time after time. Snyder gets Baptiste the bite. Step back, three ball. Back oh! Elena Snyder <laughs> with a <laughs> big giggle after that one. She'll take it, three points. So Hippolyte throws it over to Baptiste. Trail by five to the Poakai as Baptiste. But to put another player on skates as she has so many times this season. Might got away with a push off there. That's what Lena Snyder's saying, but it two points it is. created enough room to get the finish. Baptiste has been quite quiet offensively tonight so far. I want to see her get going. Today, Ilya about to check into the game for the Poakai. Good hand from Lauren Hippolyte. Strips that from Olivia O'Neill. And the Poakai with a stop. Inside to Baptiste, good positioning. Looks to fire it over to Whalen, but Sammy Gallagher read it perfectly. And here comes Snyder, Boagney ahead of her. And Boagney and Cherry combined on the defense, but a foul is called. And it's called on Tessa Boagney. Just her first foul. I don't know if there was actually much in it, but she did drop her hand. Maybe if she had to keep them straight, she might have even got the block without dropping it. So if you look at the replay, she just drops her hand down. So Richards and Rusk back into the game for the Hoi Hoers. Snyder's first free throw doesn't drop. Tadai Elliott into the game for the Poakai. Snyder makes the second. The screen from Baptiste in the backcourt. Sherry puts on the Jets. Baptiste always seems to have more time than anyone else on the court. Fires it over to Lauren Hippolyte, whose three ball drops. Yes, yeah, she does, and she's so hard to defend with that step back. Pressure from Hippolyte is paying off, but Russ tucks it under her arm, drives. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Bo Agney. Cherry calls for a screen. Doesn't come, so it goes back to Baptiste. Triple teamed. Blocked by Cheslick, but not before a foul is called on Rusk. Yeah, Rusk just reaching in. But that's better offense from the Pyakai, getting the ball up the court. We've got some, some of the girls are running the lanes nicely and they're getting reward by getting thrown up. So we see the drive.
Baptiste makes her first run the line. And her second. And that's what you need to do, especially when you, you were trailing. We now have a one point lead, 19 18, six minutes just over to go in this first half as Dugan gets it back from Snyder. Wants to go back door, but that door was shut by Jalen Cherry. The so shot clock's on two. The shot's going to have to go up. I don't think they've seen it. Russ doesn't get it up in time, so a great defensive set yeah, from the mainland Powakai. And we have a tie out here from Nat Vizga. And just not watching that shot clock. Well, the block leader in the league, Tessa Bowden, is going to be denied that block stat. The, She'll uh, be gutted because she's doing very well in that stat, isn't she? I think she goes at two a game. So it's the Parkeyes' turn to force a timeout from their opposition. And Tali Bavalaka will be a lot happier with what she's seen in the last few minutes. Meanwhile, Nat Vizga I just want to try and find a bit more fluency from her hoi ho side. Shelby Chesler in there. Three assists already from the low block. She's getting quite free too at, at that knuckle as they do the screening at the top. So a lot of room to move. She's made one from two there. No surprises, Lena Snyder leading the way for the Hoi Hoi with 6.4 rebounds. Boagney has seven points for the Poakai, four rebounds. Trenti Baptiste with six points so far. Averaging over 20 is Trinity Baptiste. So I expect her to go on a run at some point during this game. Housekeeping, tucking the shirts in before we get going again. Welcome to FIBA basketball, Jalen Cherry. <laughs> and she brings the ball up. I think her shorts are rolled up about 10 times. <laughs> Bo Agni down low, out to Baptiste. Or Elliot almost ran away from that pass, but brought it in. Cherry, step back. Great hand from Zoe Richards. Oh, what a shot. Got an even better shot from Jalen Cherry. Yeah, tough make. I'm sure she was about to get <laughs> yelled out by Coach Bevilacqua for not going inside, but saves herself with the make. Snyder, had a bit of space, steps into beyond, mm. into inside the arc and drains the long two. And that seems to be where the space is for the Hoi Hoi offensively. Sherry calls the play. Today, Elliot. Baptiste on the baseline, fires it over to Elliot. Oh, nice Six ball on the fake. shot clock. Cherry back to her preferred long two range. Knew it wasn't good as soon as she but let go of it. Went to get a rebound and it's going to be Southern oh. Hoi Hoi ball. Unlucky because she knew it was going to be short. Jalen Cherry but followed. Nearly actually got the, the ball back. Richards around the Snyder screen. There's Rusk. Oh, good good hand from Hippolyte. And she's off. Oh, but Rusk gets it back. He slapped it away from behind. Richards trying to find a bit of space, drops it into Snyder. Bo Agni lurking, so Snyder goes up and under. And Baptiste comes down with the board. Cherry thought about the three, shoots the three. Leaves it just a little short and Snyder gets the board. Aaron Whaling getting ready to check back into the game, as is Maya Jones. Dugan drives. 
No whistle, no bucket, and the Powakai come the other way. Yeah, a lot of up and down basketball at the moment. No reward. Step back, Baptiste. Bucket, Baptiste. On cue. Thank Liz. you. Thank you, Trinity. <laughs> and that's what they need. They've got to go to what works, and she's the leading scorer for a reason. Rusk. Snyder trying to shrug off Trinity Baptiste has to put up a tough oh, shot and that's her another. second time she banks it in as Tully Bevelacqua just <laughs> shrugs her shoulders and says what can you do about that and Baptiste couldn't do much more she made her take a tricky shot oh, the, oh, oh so we see a there. head clash that might be a head clash from Tarai Elia and Lena Snyder as Taylor Lynch blows the whistle and I'm going to check this over. Snyder it seems to have come off worse than Elliot. Yeah, I think. Bit of clarity out there is there, so this will be a stoppage, I'd say, as we might have a cut to the head of Lena Snyder. Just both innocently going for the ball. I might take that comment back about the. <laughs> A lot of those clashes at uh, training. Well, it was Snyder who's, who's had clashes, uh, clash with Zoe Richards in training just last week. And Zoe Richards out there playing with a suspected broken nose for the last week and a bit. Made a tough stuff, though, down in, down south, aren't you? Oh, you have to be, don't you? <laughs> I know that was a pretty good head clash just then, hopefully. Well, hopefully. Both are all right. Snyder, hopefully. This but game's got it all, Hugh. Bit of everything. Luckily, this arena is very close to Queensland Hospital. Pretty much next door. It is next door, right. Just nestled nicely in between the uh, airport and the hospital and Remarkables on the doorstep. Coronet Peak in the distance, which is glowing this evening, Donna. You wanted to go skiing, didn't you? Oh. It looked magical up there. With all the lights going. Well, the last person this Hoyhaw side would have wanted to lose in this game is Lena Snyder. We don't know the severity of the cut and whether it's just the one that can be cleaned up and Vaselined or whether it's going to require a thread and needle, but the game goes on. Oh, absolutely, and sometimes it, something like this makes the others step up and they're going to definitely need to do that because Snyder is a class act. I don't know if there's anybody else that hits the top five on every stat. Uh, the points, rebounds, assists and steals. She's there on all of them. But hopefully she is going to be okay. Libby O'Neill puts on the afterburn as you get over halfway with Lauren Hippolyte in hot pursuit. So we've got a fully Kiwi lineup out there for the Southern Hoi Ho. Kicks it out to Richards. Three on the shot clock. She needed to Baptiste pokes go, it out of her arms. And here's Maya Jones, Jones and Lauren Hippolyte in transition. Oh, good Wayland ball. Drives. Good help from Richards, but a foul. Just so Aaron Whalen will go to the Rosine line to shoot two. Yeah, Whalen just lost her footing a bit, but there was a great ball that gave her the inside lane. So we see defender rolls around the top. Just enough of a foul to send her to the line. Hippolyte and Jones just called in for a chat by head coach Tony Bevelacqua. Those two will be in Dreamland playing in the backcourt together. Maya Jones growing up, looking up to Lauren Hippolyte and Nelson. And, and how now. neat is that, like to now be teammates? I know what it's like when you're really young and, and playing in teams. I think I was like 15 or something when I was in the Canterbury team. So and going to trainings and get some of these legends of the game now, the tall ferns. Gallagher, and she's just earned a foul. Erin Wayne and say, my hands are up. They weren't always up yeah, on they, that play. They were up now, but they weren't when you had a go at the ball. <laughs> so foul called correctly there from Sasha Nicholson. As Gallagher was trying to find a bit of space down low. Well, the poor kite. See, hands go in and then, oh, no, I'm straight. <laughs> So Gallagher at the line of the Pokai making the Hoi Ho use every second of the shot clock at the moment. As one they call Sammy, makes her first from the line. 
This is about her third trip to the foul line, is it? And shooting well. And I've just jinxed her. This is the second, but Agnew has to work hard for the board, beating Richards to it. Here come the Pawakai. Hepolite fires it up to Trinity Baptiste. We see only five on the shot clock. They're going to have to do something as Jones put the ball. Oh, great Hippolyte, pass, but it's going to go up. Jumper. Just too shot late. clock violation there. So this time it's the Hoyho's turn. Just living on the edge, really, with the shot clock. Both teams. Both teams funny how hard to break down each other's defense as Russ brings the ball up. Jones on her, his chest lick. Great off ball work from Gallagher, but just couldn't bring the pass in. Rusk catch and shoot from the wing. And makes it. And Alicia Rusk. Nicole Rusk, I should say. A few Rusks around the Hoi Hoi organization with. Well, Dunedin basketball, really. Yeah, absolutely. Wonderful servants to basketball in this part of the country. It's Baptiste crossover. And oh, my Jones nearly gets a turnover. So Russ brings the ball up, looking for Richards, finds her. Nisbet on her. O'Neill, it's going to be a long two if it goes, and it doesn't off to the left and out of bounds. So Poakai ball. And we have a timer that you may have just heard from Tully Bevelacqua. So they want to talk it over. In a one-point game, low-scoring a fair two-point game, I should say. With under a minute to go in this first half. <laughs> Landa Snyder leads all scorers, but will we see her return after she had a clash of heads with Tarai Elia and She's a type of player, though, isn't she, that if they can stitch it up quickly, if it needs stitches, I'm Do picking if she can be, she'll be back out there in a hurry. The old Dylan Boucher with the bandage bandage <laughs> wrapped around the head may make a return. I'm fairly confident we won't see Mary Goulding again in this game. She's off to the hospital next door with a potential knee injury. So both teams having to do it without two of their star players at the moment. The referees give him the hurry up. 44 seconds to go in this first half. So the Hoiho are out waiting for the Poet guy who joined them on the court. We're back underway for the last 44 seconds of this first half. Nisbet drives at Gallo, who just pulled the chair away. Nisbet now playing on the floor. Out of bounds it goes. And it will remain Poakai ball. Swarming defense from the Southern Hoi Hawk. Yeah, great defense. Just moved away and she lost her footing. Eight seconds on the shot clock. So Morrison's going to have to get it in. They might look for Trinity Baptiste. Well, it's Boagny mismatch down low. Oh, she steps through and gets the foul. And one to the line goes Tessa Boagny. After a great post move. Had a mismatch here on Olivia O'Neill. She actually does well to pull in that pass. Steps through. She's got such good footwork as the tall fern centre. A couple of years off basketball after the... She makes a three-point play. Combination of the birth of her son and a uh, pesky pandemic. As we see the defensive from pressure from the Parkite. Morrison and Baptiste combining, and that's a backcourt violation from Samari Gallo. It was a pretty one. Nice little pirouette in there as she got hold of the ball uh, and did well to keep it off and taking it off her, but unfortunately... So Morrison started it. Baptiste helped out, and then Gallagher just spun right over backcourt. It's a hard one, isn't it? Because they didn't actually get possession, so it's not deemed. The Paiakai had it, 
a backcourt violation and a chance. Chance for the Paakai to hit the last shot. 19 seconds to go, but a four and a half uh, second differential. And they do have a player timeout up their hand. It's the call from Tali Bevilacqua if they need it, if nothing comes from this attack. Baptiste, Lisbeth, someone needs to get it up. It's going to be Baptiste from mid range. And she and she it. Ends it. Double fist pump from Tali Bevilacqua. She's nearly out in the middle of the court, to be fair. <laughs> she was. She liked that back one. before the referees could catch her. And that's half time here in a nutritional affair between the mainland Poakai and the Southern Hoi Ho from the Queenstown Event Centre. The Poakai, who uh, struggled in the first quarter, found their shooting shoes in the second, and they lead 30 to 26 at half time. So Snyder with 10 points, unsure if we'll see her again. We'll try and get a report for you during this halftime break. Uh, Bo Agney with 10 points. So right now we can hear from Tessa Bo Agney, who's with Donna Wilkins. Well, Tessa, an interesting first half. We've had a couple of injuries and quite low scoring, but starting to pick up a bit of momentum for the Park Eye now. Yeah, I think uh, both teams have been rattled with uh, injuries with really prominent players, but we've finally settled into it. Um, it's a new place, so like we've never played here before, so it's quite interesting, but cool to be here in Queenstown. All, right, all the best for the second half, Tess. Thank you so much. Now we have Sammy. What an interesting first half. There's been a head clash, there's been maybe a knee, but a lot of effort defensively from your side. Yes, yeah, yeah it has been an interesting uh, first half. Um, I guess defence is the one thing that we do pride ourselves on um, and it's the one thing we can kind of control so we're just out there trying to be mongrelly every position and uh, get it done on both ends now. Is it gonna so what do, you, what do you have to do in the second half? You guys need to win this one. We really do, it's kind of do or die at this point. Um, I guess probably just continue what we're doing, um, maybe look after the ball a bit more and just look to get it inside a little bit more I think will be key. All the best for the second half. Thank you very much. Well, thanks very much, Donna, and thanks to both the players. It's halftime here between the Southern Hoi Ho and the mainland Poakai, and it's the visiting team, the Poakai, who lead 30 to 26 here at Queenstown Event Centre. The uh, halftime entertainment is out there in the form of some future Toihi players, so we'll be back with some analysis after the break here on Sky Sport. Big shout out to the Stone Fruit team. Apparently they're uh, up and coming.
basketball Aotearoa game between the Southern Hoi Ho and the mainland Poakai. Hugh Bain in here alongside Donna Wilkins. And Donna, the game's had a little bit of everything. It's been a nutritional display in terms of scoring, but we've had, a, unfortunately, a couple of injuries. Lost Mary Goulding for the rest of the game. We're waiting on a report of Lena Snyder, who uh, cut her head open in a clash. So two of the stars of the game are gone, and it's going to test the depth of these sides in the second half. Oh, absolutely, it is going to. And also for the park, I had Trinity Baptiste, who's normally you know, scoring at will, has taken a bit to get going. But we saw at the end of that quarter that she's starting to step up. And also Tessa Biagni, I think she's started well. Um, probably haven't gone inside to her as much as what they probably would have liked to. It is the um, two front court players who yeah. lead the way for the Poakai. And Snyder, well, they'd dearly love to have her back because no one else has got more than three points right now for the Hoi Hawk. Yeah, so that's where I think it's going to be harder for them um, with losing Snyder. So fingers crossed she might reappear in the second half. As you see her there on those rebound stats as well, leading the way for her team. I mean, Tessa Biagni for five rebounds. Shelby Cheslet throwing the dimes out there. The big for the Southern Hoi Ho, six foot five centre. They went, used her well through the elbow. At the start of this game, but uh, Polkai just just turned on the screws a little bit defensively in Jaylen, that second Jaylen half. Jalen Cherry getting a block. <laughs> One of the littlest ones out there. And Tori Dugan making a nuisance of herself uh, on the defensive end. So, really, it's anyone's game here at halftime. Donna, it's an impossible one to pick. 30-26, to 26, the Polkai lead. Um, will we see Lena Snyder or won't we? I'll endeavour to get a... Uh, update for you in this next break. For now, we will head to a break. It's halftime here between the Poakai and the Hoi Ho. Third quarter action coming up after the break here on Sky Sport.
Welcome back. Third quarter, just under two minutes away here at the Queenstown Event Centre. The mainland Polokai lead 30 to 26 over the Southern Hoi Ho. But a boost to the Southern Hoi Ho ahead of this third quarter. Their leading player, leading rebounder, leading scorer, Lena Snyder, has had her cut vaseline and taped up Dylan Boucher styles. And there she is with her headband on, just checking it as she'll... Well, you called it Donna Wilkins. She's too tough not to re-enter this game. She's also too important to this Hoi Hill side. Yeah, and she is a team player. Like She's going to do whatever she can for this team to get out here and get a W. And if that means she takes up her head and comes back out, she will. I'm sure she's going to have a big headache tomorrow. But for now, she's out here and getting ready to go for the second half. Well, you can see the galvanising effect already among her team as it's all smiles as she warms up and gets ready to get back into this game. Legendary tool for Lisa Wall button in the background with the mask on, acting as team manager. Played, you would have played a fair I bit of did. basketball with Many Lisa Wall button. With, with Lisa. Great to see her still involved with basketball. Still the Toolfins team manager as well. A real servant of the game as the Polakai and the Hoi Ho retake the court here at Queenstown. The barbecue doing just great business out the side here. Starting to feel just as someone's left the door open, Donna. I'm just starting to feel just a little bit of the Queenstown cold. All right, lucky I bought my warm wool juice. Yeah, you're wearing half a sheep. I am. I'm less prepared. Should have known coming to Queenstown, but anyway, the doors are open because that barbecue's out there going. Cherry, Hippolyte, Waylon, Baptiste, Boagney out there. Baptiste and Boagney have 20 points between them of the uh, Polokai's 30. Um, and they'll start this second half. Tori Dugan, Samara Gallagher, Lena Snyder, Zoe Richards, and Shelby Cheslick for the Southern Hoi Ho. And it's Tori Dugan who gets us back underway. Signals the play straight out of halftime into Snyder. They go. Baptiste with a good hand. Dugan has to scramble for that one and does so. Big screen oh, from Cheslick, just about not Baptiste Trinity got Baptiste smoked. over. And Dugan <laughs> takes full advantage of the extra space and gets the Hoi Ho off with two points to start this second half. And they've got a bit of a spring in their step, haven't they? The Hoi Ho with having Snyder back on court. And they look for Boagni, the Poakai. She goes to work on her tall fern teammate up with the left this time for Boagni. Snyder, rebound number six. There she is, peering out from under the headband, and the lane just opens up for her, and oh, she just... can't make it, though. This is the bunny after going coast to coast. Boagni right out in front, finds it over to Wayland, catch and shoot from the corner. Aaron Wayland just rolls around the hoop and drops out. Just five points to Aaron Wayland so far in this one. She averages 15 a game. Sammy Gallagher gets away with the travel there and he's laughing about it openly on court. Big screen from Cheslick again and they look inside. Pick and roll is a thing of beauty from Zoe Richards and Shelby Cheslick. The front court combining nicely. Come out of the break good. The Hoi Ho getting straight into their offense. Snyder doing a just fantastic job of denying Trinity Baptiste down low. As Waylon is surrounded by Hoi Ho. Baptiste does get her hands on the ball. Fires it over to Hippolyte. Three oh, ball in the shot. corner. Second three ball down for Lauren Hippolyte in this one. Good pass though from Baptiste along that baseline. Callahan almost. Well, that pass is wayward after Gallagher was under duress. And it's almost like a touch find that the other way as he goes right into the corner. Over in the rock wall. So Lauren Hippolyte will inbound for the Poakai. Cherry working hard off the ball, but they go to Baptiste, who almost gives it away straight away. She's wrapped up with Shelby Cheslick. <laughs> she wasn't going to let it go, Baptiste. So a jump ball to call, and it remains Poakai ball. As you see the replay here. Just loses the handle. But then she wasn't going to let go. Back into live play, and that pass just ahead of Baptiste, who Cherry thought was cutting to the hoop, but had pulled up for a preferred jump shot. 
Deegan drops into Snyder. Snyder and Baptiste doing a great job of trying to deny each other getting the ball in any decent position. Catch and shoot. Oh, Contested what a shot. Contested ball from Lena Snyder and a wry smile from Trinity Baptiste. Nothing wrong with that hit at all. <laughs> what a shot. What a time to hit the three ball. Hippolyte to Baptiste in the low block. Gallagher comes to help. Hippolyte's hit two from three-point land already. That one off. Rebound by Lena Snyder. Number eight to go with her 10 points. Oh, I should say 13 points as Gallagher is fouled and she'll go to the Rosine line to shoot two. Now called on Lauren Hippolyte. He just gets Hippolyte off the floor with a ball fake. Nowhere to go but foul. They're pushing the ball this this quarter, the hoi hoi. Tessa Morrison ready to check back into the game for the Poakai as Sammy Gallagher <laughs> runs away from the reserve. Well, I told you there's a door open. A bit drafty in here, maybe. Oh, it just came out the hand wrong. I'm not sure how she's going to shoot the second one. She's laughing. Got to be able to laugh at yourself, don't you? A rebound from Tessa Boagny is. I'm sure Gallagher you've done that, haven't both. you? Hugh? They've ordered a free throw. You've got to get to the line to shoot free throws <laughs> first. Cherry driving with intent, and she's fouled, so she'll go to the Rosine line to shoot two. Nicole Rusk heads back into the game for Gallagher, who's still smiling. She's always smiling, to be fair. Sammy Gallagher, the captain of the Southern Hoy Hawk. Tessa Morrison has to wait because she's going to check in for Jalen Cherry, who makes her first free throw. One's missed by Wagner working hard, but Richards comes away with the ball. Chestlet going to hand it up to someone and eventually finds Tori Dugan. Richards curling into Chestlet. Rebound, Bo Agney. Baptiste too fast. Oh, she does well on the finish. Uses the hoop to her advantage with a taller chestnut looming over her. Look for Snyder. Uh, Baptiste again doing her best to deny a big screen from Cheslet. Such a good matchup, those two, isn't it? The Pyakai come away with it. Waylon launches. The Pokai bench just the coaching the staff just with a foul here. I think that might be on Lauren Hippolyte. It is. Number two on Hippolyte. <laughs> so Tully Bevelacqua just in no uncertain terms, telling her team to speed up and transition. She's getting frustrated when they slow the ball up. Especially when they've got runners there as well to kick the ball on. Snyder, quick first step, hands it off to Cheslet. She's got so much space, she doesn't know what to do with it. The shot clock goes to six. Nicole Rusk has to put up a deep three ball. Richards working hard for the rebound and forcing the Richards. ball to remain with the Hoy Hawk. Yeah. Zoe Richards just putting a lot of pressure on, trying to get those offensive boards. Causes the ball to come off the knee. Whalen. Opportunity for Hoi Hoi. Okay. It's Richards with ball in hand. Inside, Cheslick in really good position. Tries to shrug oh, up by Agni. Tessa by Agni. Chalk up another one. And this is when the ball needs to go inside. She is immediately swamped as Trinity Baptiste, but that means Aaron Whalen's wide open on the wing and drains the three. And making shots like that put doubt into the head of the Hoi Hoi about do they continue with that triple team. Snyder looking for an option, finding one in the form of Dugan. Inside again they go to Cheslick. Doesn't want to go to the hoop though with Tessa Boagney having just blocked her. A great offensive board from Snyder. She just hustles. And the put back as well with the left hand. 
Lena Snyder, 15 points, nine rebounds. And a cut head. Jenna, and a cut head. Hippolyte yeah, sees a bit of space, looking to get to the hoop. Waylon after. She's Richards. wanting to launch. Bit on the intercept, and Waylon rattles in another three. Time out here from the Southern Hoy Haw as Erin Waylon hits back to back buckets. She's got her eye in now. She's lining herself up on that three point line. Just like that, she's up to 11 points. Yeah, that Visco wants threes. to talk it over as her team trail by seven. Lena Snyder doing her best to keep them very much in this game. Important game in terms of the ladder, Donna. As we mentioned at the start of the broadcast, the Poakai are three and five. The Hoi Ho are one and seven. So it would be a big win for the Hoi Ho in terms of that reaching that top four. Only one team's going to miss out. I know, and that's a hard Nelson. thing, isn't it? And the Paiakai, if they can get this win today, it just makes it so much harder on the Hoi Ho. They meet again on Sunday down in Dunedin. Four games remaining. I think the Paiakai are all away games, so none at home. It makes that job even tougher, so this is going to be vitally important for them to get this one today. As with the Hoi Ho too, they need to collect the two points every week. One player we haven't mentioned much this season because she hasn't played yet is uh, Gillian Harmon, who's currently competing with the uh, 3x3 Tour Ferns at the Commonwealth Games and before that at the 3x3 World Cup and before that at the 3x3 Asia Cup. So, And they're doing pretty good over at the Commonwealth Games. I think they're straight through to the semi, so they are. Um, hence why we have not seen her. So she hasn't played yet for the Hoi Ho, but the rules of the competition are such that you must play three games to play in the playoffs as Chesley's baseline jumper doesn't go. But if you're on national team duty, they count towards those ones. So Harmon could roll straight into a semi-final if uh, the Hoi Ho make it. And then you're adding an experienced tool fern into your lineup for the pointy end of the season as Tubasa Nisbet finds an option in Tessa Morrison. Great crossover from oh, Morrison, a beautiful. Right-handed finish, kisses it off the glass. There's the one they call Timo. Could be popular member of this mainland Poirapai side as Snyder fires it over to Chester, who's O'Neill. Oh, that summer's left, Lena Snyder wide open. And she gets a shooter's bounce. It did hit the top of the bat ball, but it didn't hit any of the infrastructure behind it or above no, it, and that's, that's what would have... didn't hit the bar, but it just hit the top enough for it to flick back down and in. So a bit of a shooter's roll, well, a lot of a shooter's roll for Lena Snyder, but... Huge luck, but you make your luck. Oh, she drives into a brick wall. Ross Morrison flying. Morrison loses possession, and Snyder comes the other way for the Hoy Hawk. Turnaround jumper off the front iron. Passing this bit with the board. Park I mean, will to keep up the tempo. And that comes off Aaron Whalen's foot. Just loses it. Tisa Boagni doing a great job getting down the floor, but getting no reward for it. It would have been nice to see that go inside. As Bronwyn Kestrick comes into the game, gives Shelby Cheslick a break, who's admirably charging up and down the court. As the Park I look to increase the pace, Baptiste ready to check back into the game as... Snyder looks to get to a spot. It's beautiful pass to Richards who up faked and is fouled and will go the line to shoot two. As we see Tessa Boagni take a break. Richards misses her first from the line. Second one better. drops. That's what her team needs. We need Zoe Richards to get going for the Hoi Ho. 44-39, 2.40 to go in the third quarter here in Queenstown. It's Baptiste drives oh, and catches up and, and gets foul. the foul. And we'll go in the line for and one more. trips over the camera. Trinity Baptiste will head to the Razine. 
She did enough to show that she wasn't going to go, but that first step, so quick, opens up the lane. You see on the replay, she thinks about it, thinks about it, and then steps through. Okay, more to come. We'll get another chance. I think Bronwyn Kestrup was the one who encroached. Dribbles that one in. Counts all the same, though. Maybe O'Neill brings it up. Oh, good Fine. seal by Snyder. Can she get the finish? Oh, it bounces oh, out. Richard's in there as well, and we have a foul called. And it's called on the mainland Poakai. Baptiste, I think, called for the foul. So great work from Zoe Richards. Again, the hustle on the offensive board, forcing the possession to remain with her side, even if she doesn't come down with the rebound. As we see Richards open up on the base from the out-of-bounds play, but can't get the finish. So Hippolyte brings it up, calls out the instructions. Here's Nisbet to Waylon. Nisbet in the post, stepping, turning, great defense. Snyder with the help, and Richards comes away with the ball. Minute 45 to go in this third quarter. Hoyhawk, just a little uptick in intensity in the last minute or so from the home side. Rush gets oh, to block. a position, but Nisbet with the block, and here she is the other side. But how good is Snyder to get back? In perfect position as well. Hippolyte. For forces the three, but tickles the twine. Warren Hippolyte. And this is a performance that the Pawakai have been hoping to see from Hippolyte. She is a sharp shooter, but hasn't been putting them up too often. Big block from Bassa Nisbet. It's a hoi hoi possession, and that has pumped up her bench. That's two blocks in a row. She's but been spending some time around uh, Tessa Boakney in training by the looks of it. <laughs> Just lifts the team. Tessa coming back on court. So Tebow replaces Timo. And everyone yelled as the ball was given to Hoi Ho to, a, to uh, inbound. Football style free kick wall here from the Hoi Ho as they spread out. And here's Gallagher into Snyder. Oh, unlucky. Gets called for a foul as the ball hits the foot and rolls out. Second foul on Baptiste. And they won't be wanting Trinity Baptiste to get too many more. And they're shooting as they're in the bonus. And the Hoi Ho just needs somebody else to help Snyder scoring wise to get them back in this game. They don't want that lead to stretch. And that will help bring it back to 10. So Lena Snyder misses her second, almost gets the offensive board. Bass uh, Nisbet comes down with them. Here come the Hoi Hoi through Jalen Cherry. Sorry, the Powakai, I should say, through Jalen Cherry. Nisbet for three. Too strong. O'Neill brings it down. She's quick as Olivia O'Neill. Zigzags away oh, at the nice court. Pass. Drops it to Snyder, who finishes. So 21 points for Lena Snyder. As Cherry just keeps it in bounds. Looks Tries to throw to it off Gallagher, but she read that to Sammy Gallagher. And Snyder, ooh, but gets her own rebound. And then up with the left, Baptiste did well to force her Why Gallagher almost with another Great steal. hustle by the Hoi Hoi. Just making life difficult for the Paakai. And they just really need to have patience and get it up over half. And get into their offense. Hippolyte again with a three. Again it goes down. Lauren Hippolyte. That one was quite flat though. Didn't have much arc on that, but it went in just the same. 12 points for Lauren Hippolyte. 
all from the three-point line. Just wait to see what's happened here. There's been a whistle. So 53-42 as Melanie O'Connor just checks with the score bench. And Lena Snyder will get us back underway with under 10 seconds to go in the third quarter. And the Pokai with an 11-point lead despite the best efforts of this lady here, Lena Snyder, she drives. Good defense from Tessa Boagny. And Will Baptiste get a shot up in time? She won't, so that won't count. It doesn't go anyway. And that is three-quarter time, 53-42. The mainland Poakai lead the Southern Hoi Ho. And it's Lena Snyder, 20 points and nine rebounds, who leads the way for the Hoi Ho. But they've got a bit of work to do to catch up with the Poakai side, who have been led ably by Trinity Baptiste and Aaron Whalen. And how about four three pointers from Lauren Hippolyte? We'll be back after the break here on Sky Sport. Welcome back to the Queenstown Event Centre. One quarter action to go in this Te Waipanamu derby between the mainland Poakai, who are on the road in Queenstown against the home team, the Southern Hoi Hawk. We made him here with Donna Wilkins. And the Southern Hoi Hawk team, as they are becoming accustomed to, are leaning heavily on, on Lena Snyder. who leads the way with 20 points and nine rebounds for her side. Trinity Baptiste with 14 points, but Hippolyte with 12, Wadden with 11 for the Poakai. Teams are ready to go, just the score bench catching up. Mel O'Connor overseeing proceedings. More basketball to come your way, of course, and Toehi Basketball Aotearoa in two days' time, Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. The top of of Queens will meet this Hoi Ho side. Before on Saturday, the Kahu will put their unbeaten record on the line again against the Queens in Auckland. Not long now to the pointy end of the season, which will be August 26th and August 27th at the Trafalgar Centre in Nelson. Speaking of pointy ends of the season. Men's final starts next week. Donna and Sal's NBL. And no one knows who's going to be in it right now. Only the uh, Nelson Giants talking to Atada and Tadamaki Airs are locked in. So there's still uh, three more teams to get in there. 
And that's the type of competition you want to have, isn't it? Everyone juggling for those spots. Five teams vying for those last three places over the next six days. For now, though, it's all about Toei here. We're back underway here. Rich is looking inside. O'Neill gets the ball back for the Hoy Hill. Catch and shoot from the free throw line for Cheslick. Another rebound for Tessa Boagney. Cheslick needs to practice those shots at training. She's getting it so often wide open on that key, on the knuckle. That tee's looking for a bit of help. Instead, she puts it on the floor, goes right at Shelby Cheslick, who does well to stop that turnaround. We see five on the shot clock. We need to create something. And that would be a three. Oh, great hustle underneath. Nisbet does well. Here's Bo Agni. Deep three from Hippolyte. That one doesn't go. Oh, and it and just... this time Nisbet with the foul. Yeah, got a wee bit of the arm as well as the ball, but great hustle offensively. Coach Tully Bivalakwa asking the Paiakai to put that pressure on the ball. Here's Galahad. She's thought about it. Give and go with Richards and then pulls up from the elbow, but that's off. Another rebound for Boagney. They're getting some good looks, the Hoi Hoi, but just not making them. We go inside to Baptiste. Great position and a smart finish from Trinity Baptiste. It's interesting, isn't it? Like I know some of the threes are dropping, but they go inside and it generally gets two points for them, whether it's through Baptiste or Boagney. Just like Boagney backs right off to prevent the pass into the post. So here's Gallagher going around a Cheslet screen. A crossover, pull up from two-point land. Oh, unlucky. Offensive, offensive rebound. Turn around. <coughs> Jumper, excuse me, from Cheslet doesn't go. Rebound and long rebound from Jalen Cherry. He's got Hippolyte ahead to her right. And that's who she finds. Great pass from Cherry to a wide open Nisbet in the corner. High rebound. Baptiste gets a hand to it, but Gallagher comes away. Looking to step into the lane, and she's fouled by Jalen Cherry. So Sammy Gallagher will go to the line to shoot two. I see Gallagher just no slowing her down. Steps through and feels the contact is Lena Snyder, who's felt plenty of contact tonight. <laughs> Valiantly plays on with the headband, which actually looks pretty cool. Doesn't look like a uh, injury headband day. It looks like she's made that choice. Yeah, I think I would have chose the darker color than white. You get the blood stain on the white and you look yes. badass. <laughs> so you'd go white. <laughs> she's needing, Snyder's needing somebody else from her team to step up offensively. Whalen and hit big back to back buckets in that third quarter. Sparks the Polokai run. Well, that pass has gone through everyone. Boagni and Hippolyte, and out of bounds it goes. Yeah, they weren't sure who it was for. Tessa left it. As the clock was winding down. Normally, Baptiste would do a step back, but she was well defended. Have to do a step back with 6-5. Shelby Cheslet <laughs> looming over here. Russ looks for a bit of space. Snyder work off the ball. Gets Bo Agni to bite and then pulls oh, up from the mid-range for two. She's having a cracker game, isn't she, offensively? Just keeps the score ticking along for the hoi hoi. Boagney fires it over to Whalen. Collapsing defense does well, but Baptiste well, makes it. drains the three. Big three. There's only two on the shot clock. Just a wee bit static offensively. The hoi hoi. Russ finds a bit of space as so she puts up a three. Why not? Rattles it in, does Nicole Rusk. <laughs> Hippolyte. Oh, Gallagher. 
<laughs> Getting Both right tumble. stuck in there and committing a foul eventually. Just her first. <laughs> Gallagher will head to the bench as Tori Dugan comes back into the game. Snyder nearly got a hand on that. And Chestnut with a great bit of help defense at the top. And Whalen thought about the deep three. She can't make them. Instead, she makes her way to the elbow. Rebounded by Lena Snyder. And a double, double up for Lena. 22 and 10. Because Dugan. Three ball from Chestnut. She can hit them, that one doesn't go. Hippolyte with the board. Well, the park are giving her so much time and space. It would have been nice to see her knock that one down. There's Hippolyte in the corner, fakes the three. She's made three of them, four of them I should say. So Russ had a little bite. As oh, nice Wayland. drive to That's the basket. That's a good drive, everything but out. the finish. Rebounded well by Zoe Richards. Chestnut again, left unguarded at the top, fires it over to Dugan and makes her way over to set a screen. Dugan puts up a three ball, rebounded by Tessa Boagney, number nine for Tessa. Snyder just working so hard defensively, gets another tip, but Parkai keep position. There's Whalen driving, oh, just bumps off Snyder. She's probably lucky to get away with that, to be fair. Chester goes and gets the ball. And a smart pass to Zoe Richards. She's got three Polokai ahead of her, but she puts her head down, and then it's a trip to the Razine line. Good to see a Tessa Boagney, just a second foul for her. Good foul, though. Stop the two points. It's going to be a layup. Timeout before the shots for the mainland Polokai. Yeah, Richards did a great job there of pushing the ball up, giving herself a chance. It's interesting, isn't it, though, that the park I have made a couple of threes, so now everyone's looking to shoot threes, but their go-to is getting a wee bit inside to be able to create that space out on that three-point line. But it's not going inside at all. The 9 for 21 from beyond the arc, 42%, so certainly not to be sniffed at. 7 for 18 now the Southern Hoyhill, 38%, not bad themselves. And as the Hoyhill shoots 32% from the field, so they're actually shooting better from beyond the arc than they are from within it. Well, they're shooting just 29% from two-point land, 46% for the Poakai. Pretty close on rebounds, Donna, 35 to 32, 11 assists each. Five more turnovers for the team leading by 10. Yeah, I think the Hoi have been pretty good defensively putting that extra pressure on, but sometimes uh, Poakai... Uh, Bit of a headache to themselves sometimes, bringing the ball up and just little sloppy errors, turning over ball that they shouldn't. And you can see the frustration on the coaching staff of uh, Tully Bavalakwa. It's because we're nearly on the team bench. Helen Williamson <laughs> and Cat Jones when that, when that does happen. And we spoke to Coach Bavalakwa before the game and you know, she said one thing we've still got up our sleeve, tongue in cheek, is that we haven't put a, no one's seen us play a good 40 minutes of basketball yet, so. <laughs> She's still waiting patiently. Richards misses both. Bo Agni, right to the ball. Control it. That's a real coach killer as it goes out of bounds. Tough one to control with Cheslet bumping her from behind. So the hoi hoi go again, this time from the baseline. And it's Snyder who gets her hands on the ball. Big screen from Cheslet. The three balls off to the left. Snyder goes all the way to the corner to get it. And that is some great hustle. She wants it back now as well with two seconds on the shot clock. It's Cheslet. It's Gallagher. It's a two ball that doesn't go. Rebounded by Whalen. Yeah, look, it's a mindset, isn't it, offensively? If you go hard after the ball, you're going to give yourself a chance. Slack boxing out from Pyakai. So they're lucky to get away with it, to be fair. It's Baptiste. Cheslet on her. That's a tough turnaround. Rebounded by Zoe Richards. 
Five rebounds to go with six boards for Zoe Richards. And here's Sammy Gallagher. Doesn't shoot the three instead. Oh, into nice up fake. Ooh, doesn't get the roll. And she'll go the line to shoot two. Erin Whalen, the culprit. Her fourth foul for Erin Whalen, which will... I well, shouldn't worry too much, I guess, with under four minutes to go. But certainly it's could play a part in the last four minutes of this game. Gallagher makes the free throw. Misses the second. Boagney brings down the board. Double-double for Tessa. 10 and 10. And she made sure of that box out. Hippolyte harassed by Gallagher. And here's Baptiste. Gives it back to her point guard. Great hand from Snyder. And Paul Arkai ball. Snyder trying so hard to convince the referee to change her mind. She got well, a big Leyland piece of it. Great job by letting it go out and making it look like, oh, well, I didn't touch that, so I'm going to let that go. because Just that not moving into the ball, and luckily there, Tessa Boagney, I'm not sure how she got that or that made that. a jagger from Tessa Boagney. Zoe Richards went for the steal. Boagney got there first, turned around and had eyes on one thing only, training the three ball. It was made a couple from the top. And that hurts because of Hoi Hoi. Gallagher looking so to well. fire that with one of her own. Boagney, rebound number 11. And here come the Poraka again through Tessa Morrison. Whalen to her left. And she hands it off to the American. Getting a lot of attention as Whalen. But as we see, a wayward pass. Those turnovers are starting to mount up. Power from Morrison on Richards as she made her way up the court. First found on Tessa Morrison as Nicole Rush checks back into the game. Tori Dugan takes a seat. Richards misses her first. Yeah, that foul count against the Paiakai at the moment. As Coach Bivalakua sees in the background, every foul is going to the line. So it could make the last three minutes interesting. Morrison, yep. Timo drops it into T-Bow. Oh, great move, up and in, and the foul. And Tessa Boagney's coming up big down the stretch here for the mainland Powakai, and she, her teammates let her know it too. She did well, she didn't rush. She went through with one step and it didn't work, didn't get Richards off the ground. Had the patience, gets rewarded. That's why they need to go inside you. Makes it. Converts the three point play. 16 points for Bo Agni, and six of the biggest in the last minute or so of this game. It might be enough daylight between these two teams. We'll see how the Hoi Hoi respond. Two and a half minutes to go. They trail by 14. Yes. Snyder finds Cheslick and drops it in. Yeah, nice baseline jumper. I think she could look for her own shot a wee bit more. Baptiste gets it over half court just in time. Hands it back off to Lauren Hippolyte. They might look inside again for Boagney. Scampers outside to Boagney. She's, is she feeling it? She puts it on the floor. Yeah, she's going. Drives, finishes. Tessa Boagney is on fire right here in Queenstown for the mainland Poakai. Yeah, left hand finish. And use some of that shot clock too. Boy, don't want to use too much of their shot clock. No, they need to score. Gallagher. Two feet in the paint, turnaround jumper. Short. Oh, Richard way... is fouled, held oh, no, by Lauren Hippolyte. Hippolyte actually was <laughs> going in for a cuddle. Play smart, ladies. Richards. Yeah, that sends her to the line. And also, what they need is the clock to be stopped. She hasn't had the most fun from the line tonight, Zoe Richards. One for four. Samara Gallagher, three for ten from the line. So the Hoi Hoi 
They've been struggling with their free throws. They're seven for 17 now. If you think about those 10 points they've left out on the court. And it's pretty much the difference. It'd be a three-point uh, three game, well, a two-point game. And as a player, you want to get to the line so you can have a chance with those bonus, but you're not knocking them down. The clock, I know the clock is very much their sixth man right now, so Morrison eats up a bit of that time. Baptiste just glances up at the clock, sizes up Shelby Cheslet, who does really well. It's got to go up for Morrison. It's a running three-pointer that doesn't drop. Doesn't drop. It didn't go anywhere no. near. But look, the most important thing for the park, I was le le using sorry that clock up. And shot clock. Richards for three. Ooh. The front iron, big rebound offensively from Samara Gallagher. There she is down low. Misses her one though. Boagney shakes her off. Authoritative rebound, and she's fouled. So she'll go to the Rosine at the other end. No, she won't, because they're not in the bonus. Just a pole up play. So. But a big, strong rebound. Tessa Biagney having a great game. 18 points, 12 rebounds for number 10. And a couple of blocks thrown in there as well at Had critical times. It's tipped off Nicole Rusk, so good pressure from the Hoi Hoi. Hit by Snyder, but Wayland as well shows off her handles as well as Baptiste slows things down with 30 seconds to go. Good hand from Snyder, oh. steal. Snyder again. Here she comes with the finish as well. What a superstar! Yeah. Yeah, just having to foul to get position. Still got more fouls to give. And that's the unfortunate thing, isn't it? You do so well to not foul in a quarter, but then when you need to send the opposition to the line, spend a good 30 seconds trying to send them there and foul. There goes Hippolyte, who's had a game tonight from beyond the art for her side. Just averaging four points a game so far this season. Averaging four points so far this season, but at the line looking for number 13 and 14 in this game. And they were timely shots too, those threes. When your team needed them to go in, but created through good ball reversal. And that seems to be when they get their threes. They move the ball inside, out. Timeout called by Nat Veska. Seventeen point seven seconds to go here in Queensland, so it's going to be a win for the mainland Poakai, and an important one at that in terms of the ladder. They'll improve to four and five, so they'll join the uh, five on four and five, and join the Queens on four wins as well. The Queens have a game in hand, that game against the uh, Southern Hoi Ho in just a couple of days' time. Yeah, and that's a tough schedule that they've got. The Hoi Ho, they've got Wednesday against the Queens and then the Paakai on Sunday. So they're three games in seven days. And must wins to have any chance because this one is pretty much gone. And the Paakai have done it without Ella Fotu, of course, away with the 3x3 side, but also without Mary Goulding for the majority of this game. We'll wait to hear an update on Mary. Guy Malloy will be watching on, hoping it's not too bad for Mary as well. She was an integral part of the Tall Ferns last campaign. So the last 17 and a bit seconds to get underway here. There's the shot clock is reset to 14. Making it about a four second differential. So the Hoy Hall should have to get a shot up here. And a quick shot. And it's Rusk. Well, the play works beautifully, and Rusk finishes it off nicely. And a quick foul from the Hoi Hall. Ten-point game, ten seconds to go. 
to the line go the mainland Poakai. And this is when you've got to knock them down. Well, the Poakai haven't had any trouble tonight. Nine for ten they are from the line, compared to eight for nineteen for the Hoiho. Ten for eleven. Erin Whalen, who hasn't been her bombastic self, but she had that big run with two with back to back buckets that put the initial daylight in between these two teams. And the poor guy kept the foot on the throat since then. And another timeout. So the Hoyhoy using this as a bit of a teaching time towards the end of this game. Erin yeah, Whalen seems to have that lift intensity wise too when her team needs it. Shows a bit of urgency, which carries the rest of them along. You haven't seen any player timeouts tonight, Hugh. No, we haven't, have we? And um, we've seen them increasing in the games and used in different ways, which has been interesting to see. But none tonight. We heard one mentioned by Tali Bevelacqua. actually quite good to see the when the teams do gather together and see what they have to say and how they're reading the game and and what comes after they've had those player timeouts. So we will make their way out on court. We'll see what they're going to run offensively here. The last 9.9 .9 seconds. Tessa Poagni gets thumped. Cheslet catch and shoot. Snyder. Rebound Snyder. Oh, she's done beautifully to keep it in. Here's Zoe Richards. Olivia O'Neill puts up the three. Tessa Morrison might have got a hand on that. Either way, it's the end of the game, and it's a deserved win for the mainland Poakai. They've won it 70 points to 58 here in Queenstown. So a worthy road trip for for the team based out of Canterbury. Tessa Poagny led the way beautifully with some big buckets down the stretch for her side. Mahoyho kept it close for the majority of the game thanks to Lena Snyder who valiantly played on with a headband on after a pretty nasty cut to her head. For a class with Trai Elia who didn't re-enter the game after the head clash. And we can head over to a couple of the victors, Lauren Hippolyte, who's with Donna Wilkins. Well, girls, how does that feel to actually come away with that win tonight? Yeah, good. It was a bit messy, but our, our goal was to really get this game. We needed a win. We've been um, on a bit of a losing streak, so it feels really good to get a win. Um, hopefully build on towards playoffs. So yeah, it's really good. I don't like when you moved the ball, when you got it inside and kicked it out, because of course there was some double team going on on you, Trinity, underneath. But when you kicked it out, it created for you outside shooters. Yeah, yeah. So teams have been doing that, and I'm trying to just do a better job of finding my teammates early instead of putting the ball down and waiting on the double team to come. So yeah, they've been doing a good job of uh, getting open and uh, getting into the, uh, get the, uh, the gap so I can pass. So what happens now? You've got three games left. They're all away games, which makes it really tough. But this game now, getting that win, puts you two, another two points clear of the hoi hoi. So three games. How do you get these next three wins? Um, coach has been doing a lot and um, practice about focusing on our things and our plays and um, looking after the ball has been a big one for us. Um, we did an OK job today. A few too many turnovers in the second half there. But um, I think we'll just head away to practice, focus on our stuff and um, what we can do as a team. and then. We should be good to go for next year. And unfortunately, you lost Mary early in the game. Um, we're hoping that, that she's going to be all right. Um, wish her all the best for us, and hopefully we see her back at some stage in this season. Yeah, that one is definitely for Mary. Um, that's what we said at halftime. So, uh, yeah, our thoughts go out to her, and um, yeah, we hope she's okay as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Donna, and great to hear from the players after a win, and a good one too for the mainland Poakai after their loss on Saturday. We look at the stats, Poakai and Baptiste led the way, and Lena Snyder valiant again in a losing effort, as has been the story for her for the majority of the season. 
Double double for both Snyder and Bo Agni. Jan and Cherry chipping in nicely with the boards for the point guard. Ball spread nicely by both sides. Snyder again leading the way for her side. And a few blocks, maybe a couple missing there for Tessa Boagni. That may be corrected by the stats team post the game. But it's a deserved win for the Polakai here in Queenstown. Over a Hoi Hoi team that is still struggling to get into consistent winning form. But we'll say goodbye here from Queenstown. Donna Wilkins, myself, Hugh Bainan. Plenty more basketball still to come. Wednesday night, we're back in action with Toihi. And here it's the Polakai. And 12 points from that young lady, Lauren Hippolyte, helped them to this win. A 12-point win at that over the Southern Hoi Hoi. So from us here on Sky Sport, we'll do it all again soon here on the Home of Sport. Thank mm -hmm. you.